Hi, fourth graders. It's Mrs. Schaefer. I can hardly believe it is June 4th. Well, wait a minute. It seems like it's been a long journey to get this far, right? You are doing awesome. You have all been working hard. Mr. Field, Mrs. Stott and I have been working hard too. We're in it together. So we're a big old hard push towards the end, okay? So one thing, I wanna talk a little bit about the packet this week instead of doing a separate video. So as usual, you'll have some, a cover sheet for deciding how you're gonna do the work. And you'll have math in blue, which is about remi remainders, excuse me. So make sure you watch the math video. And in reading, we're working on inferring. And we put all the different ways you can see the words infer, inference, inferring. And then there's a little, there is a little worksheet that goes with that, okay? For writing, writing is a huge push this week and next for us as we're all working on our expert books. So, as always, green. There are two slides from the slides I'm gonna show you right now reprinted for you so that you can use those. And in your packet this week will be your final copy green booklet that you will actually be um, completing your expert book inside the green book, okay? So I just wanna go over a couple of things. Um, actually, you'll see them in the slides, but I wanted you to know it looks like that. And here is, this person did it on dogs, so that is their cover. Cover, picture, title, and picture. And we're gonna go through it right now. So here we go. All right, so on your expert book, this is the week that we start working in the actual green booklets on the final copy. So I'm gonna just talk about imagining if someone was doing a book about soccer. Um, upcoming plans, this looks pretty summary to me, so that's why I picked that slide. We will share our finished green books in the last week of, uh, on our, at our Zoom meetings, the last week of school. So you need to keep adding to your writing, keep going so you don't get behind. All right, so here we go. Wow, that was kind of dark. I hope it looks all right for you. So I want to take a few minutes to talk about how to have special beginnings. So at the beginning of chapter one, as you're putting it in that final copy form, we want to kind of write a little mini introduction. That will become your first paragraph. So an opening paragraph that will tell your audience maybe how cool your topic is. Something about soccer, something about bearded dragons, whatever it is. Or you might choose to write a little mini story called a micro story, just one paragraph. So this is an example of someone whose topic was soccer and they were just writing kind of, hey, this, I want to give you some background on soccer. It says, here is an opening paragraph example. So here it goes. Soccer is just so cool. I mean, it is a great game that you can play with your friends just about anywhere. We learned all the rules of soccer, but actually, we don't even need a big field or a full team to have fun. If I have a soccer ball, I can turn an ordinary day into a cool day. This expert book is all about soccer. And by the end, you will probably want to run outside and play soccer too. I get the idea, what they're writing about and that they really like it. This is an example of Instead of just kind of telling the facts, you wrote like a little background story called a micro story. So your first paragraph might be a little mini story. When I was seven, I learned to play soccer. My friend Elsa taught me how to juggle the ball with my foot and I was hooked on soccer from then on. I had to learn the rules and it was hard not to use my hands sometimes. I didn't give up. 
on, I didn't give up on soccer. And now I am an expert at corner kicks. I am just always looking for a pickup game with anyone who loves soccer like I do. It is so fun. That's their experience. All right, this is a student named Jay Lynn, and she was writing her expert book on dogs. So inside your packet this week, you'll have the green cover, the little booklet, and inside is a title page where you can write your title and a little bit of art to go with it. I know you guys love the art. You'll be creative, you'll have fun, and colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever. You will, we'll be working on this next week, but if you wanted to do it ahead, it's fine. This is called a dedication page. Let me see if I can hold one up here. A dedication page is where you actually dedicate your book to someone or something. So since Jay Lynn loves dogs, she wrote her dedication to her very first dog, Fancy. So she's dedicating it to Fancy. She was a loving dog. It can be to whoever you want, some, someone or something that's important to you. And then up next, this part's gonna look very familiar. Table of contents, you've been working on that. I just added a little pizzazz, some color to mine. So this is the order that Jay Lynn decided on. I copied hers and what each chapter page was. Page one, page two, page three. And going through the book, this was Jay Lynn's first chapter. And you can see three separate paragraphs and art. I think in your packet, the picture is up at the top. It doesn't matter. You've got a picture on there. She put the name of the chapter. This is where you would do that opening, soccer is so cool, or whatever, a bearded dragon, tell about why you're writing about it, or a micro story, okay? Um, you will have, whoops, let me go back to that one. You will have other pages, of course. Here's one Jay Lynn did on the safety um, tips of dogs, keeping dogs safe. And you can see it's three paragraphs again for that next chapter. Next week we'll be working on, this is the dedicate or the author page, the bio. My art's a little wonky, but I kept going. So on this, this is all about you. And since this was Jay Lynn's book, it says Jay Lynn is a student of Pembroke Elementary. Um, what does that say? Oh, she lives with her mom and dad, and she has always had a passion for dance and dogs. And it goes on. So you'll be doing an author bio page. Okay, we're near the end of this little instructional video. Just the big push this week is for writing. Remember all that we've been working on in writing. Watch the videos again. You can watch last week, you can watch this one again. Um, use those sentence starters if you need them and explore with your art. Be creative, have fun. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.